So many people itching to travel, and there are deals out there for some of your bucket list destinations. And the author of 30 Day Travel Challenge, Kylie Yu, back with us this morning. It's always good to see her. We travel the world through Kyla's eyes. And today, we're going to uh, one of those places with the tiki huts over the water, Bora Bora. So good morning, Kyla. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Yeah, today we're headed to Bora Bora, kind of one of the ultimate bucket list destinations. And it's truly one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's like a small island. It's only about six miles long and two miles wide. And it's in the middle, there's a dormant volcano and lush jungle. And then most importantly, there's the gorgeous lagoon sanctuary. It is beautiful. We're seeing some of the video now. So, so tell us, obviously, there's beautiful places to stay everywhere. But what's your top pick? Um, if you're headed to Bora Bora, you got to stay at the Four Seasons Bora Bora. Just make the splurge. There's no comparison. And it's so glamorous when you land at the airport because you have to take a boat to get to any of your hotels. So they're super secluded. You grab your luggage, you jump on the boat, and you jet over to your hotel. <laughs> and then when you get there, you got the overwater bungalows, which are incomparable. And they're oh. famous in Bora Bora because they were invented in an island nearby in Morea. So it's the home birthplace of these overwater bungalows where you could just walk onto your balcony, see a stingray floating by and jump in and join him. Now, when we think Bora Bora, you think you might have to jump on like nine flights to get there, but it's actually not that difficult, right? Oh yeah, it's so unexpectedly easy. It's just an eight hour direct flight from Los Angeles. And once you get there, you land straight into Tahiti where you can stay or you could take a one hour flight over to Bora Bora. And that's just a little plane. Uh, it's so cool. All right, talk about the lagoon because it looks like there's a lot of fun things, obviously activities to do there. Definitely. It's all about being in the water in Bora Bora. And the Four Seasons has its own private Ruahatu Lagoon Sanctuary. There's over a hundred different marine species that live in there. And they have their own marine biologist on site. So you can schedule a scuba or a snorkeling session with her. And she'll point out the octopus and the stingrays and all the different kinds of fish. And you can even kind of participate in sustainability by taking a coral grafting session and learn how to preserve the coral. Oh, that is very cool. And you mentioned scuba diving, something that I've enjoyed uh, doing in, in different parts of the world. And this is another yeah. top spot to do it. It's definitely a top spot. It, the visibility is really crazy. I went out with a company called Top Dive and Arnold is the best scuba diving instructor everywhere. He'll take you around to show you. We're really in Bora Bora to see the manta rays. They're eight foot wow. uh, long and they just come out floating out of nowhere like a ghost. And it's just like so calming and meditative to like swim underneath and around. And they're just like these gentle giants. And you can also swim with a black tip sharp, which was a little bit unnerving at first. <laughs> in the ocean with 10 sharks, but they don't even bother you. They they don't care. They're interested in so. all the other stuff going on. Well, Kyla, it's always good to travel the world with you. It adds another place to my bucket list that I have to go to, and uh, we appreciate you joining us, and we'll, we'll talk to you next time with another great destination. Talk to you soon. Thanks. All right, take care.